Hey everybody, this is Coach Leanne Claire, and today we're talking about cortisol and belly fat and why cortisol, what kind of role cortisol has to play in you losing fat. Okay, so pretty much what is cortisol, right? Cortisol is a hormone in your body that gets triggered and increased when your body is feeling a little stressed. So I don't know if you ever heard of flight or fight mode. So pretty much anytime your body is under facing any kind of stress, now let's also count this. It's not just physical stress, like when you work out and all that kind of stuff, or when you put your body under stressful physical situation, it's also very emotional. So anytime you're stressed out emotionally, you're freaking out and you're raging and all that kind of stuff, your cortisol levels are skyrocketing. Now, what does that really mean for your, for your fitness journey though? What does that mean for fat? What's going on in the body? And why does cortisol even matter towards you losing fat? So pretty much your body, as soon as you go into that stressful mode, your body is working for you. Your body really, really wants to get you out of that stressful mode and it, wanna, it wants to heal you. It wants to get you to be more relaxed. It, wants, it thinks you're not safe when you're stressed out mentally or physically. And, but there are tons and tons and tons and tons of effects of cortisol going up. I cannot, I definitely cannot go over all of them with you today on this video, but we will talk about the ones that affect your hormones that have to do with you losing weight. So um, pretty much your body is going to use a lot of energy to try to get you to calm down. Your body really needs glucose and glycogen to calm itself down. So what it's going to do is it's going to increase your cravings for bad foods because it wants you to get more glucose and it knows that it could get them from food. So you're going to get cravings that have a lot of sugar in them. Your body's going to want that sugar. It's going to ask you for it. So you'll, you'll experience cravings. Also, you're actually going to increase your visceral fat. So what's visceral fat, Leanne? Visceral fat is the stuff that's all around your organs that causes really bad diseases like diabetes and heart attacks and stuff like that. And you really, really don't want that. Um, so it actually burns peripheral fat, which is the outside stuff, but the visceral fat's a lot more dangerous for your health. Don't go raising your cortisol levels just because I said it burns fat. It has a lot more damaging properties than it has for good properties. So let's talk about the different types of stresses, right? So you have physical. When, when would you experience physical stress? When you're not getting enough sleep? Maybe you drink too much caffeine. So really, really big um, suggestion by a lot of doctors is to keep it to about three cups a day and that'll keep your cortisol levels in check. It won't raise your cortisol levels at all, but too much caffeine could raise your cortisol levels. So make sure you're careful. You're kind of sending this emergency shock to your body saying, I need, I need, I need. So your cortisol levels start to skyrocket, all right? So keep it to about three cups a day. Also, not properly fueling your body. This is one is huge. If you're not getting the sources of fuel that your body needs before and after a workout, so make sure you get nice fuel before a workout, like a nice snack that has glucose in it. Maybe um, one of my favorites is just like a nice slice of, uh, of Ezekiel bread with peanut butter and a little bit of banana, something like that, something of that nature. Go ahead and have a nice snack to pre as a pre-workout. And also post-workout, I definitely recommend Beach Body Performance Line, uh, the Recover. I highly recommend that. I've been using it and I absolutely love it. It definitely gives your body all those stores. But if you don't fuel your body correctly, either throughout the whole day, you don't give your body enough sleep, you're gonna get in that stressful mode. And then you also, of course, have the mental. So when your body is asking you for that glycogen, when it's asking you for that glucose, your body is gonna go however it wants to get it. It is going to be a rock star in getting it and it's gonna do whatever it can to get it. So what are some ways that your body can get it? It'll give you cravings. It'll ask you externally, give me some sugar, honey. <laughs> give me some sugar, honey. And you're, and you're gonna get some cravings for some sweet stuff that has sugar in it. Whether it's good sugar or bad sugar, probably gonna be the bad stuff. Also, your muscles could get depleted of because your cortisol levels are going up because your muscles have uh, glucose in them. Your body can pull it from your muscles. So you'll see a lot of people, when you're really, really stressed out, you see them getting really, really skinny. It's because all their muscles are being depleted because their body is using the, the glucose in its muscles to take, to take it out and to help you. When cortisol levels go up, another really horrible thing that happens is that your pituitary function goes down. Now your pituitary gland is in charge. He's like the hormone guy. He's the guy that's like, you hormone, you get released. Oh, nope, back it up, this hormone. Hey, hey. He's like the gatekeeper of hormones for your body. 
the pituitary gland. And unfortunately, when your cortisol levels go up, the function of the pituitary gland goes down. And we really, really don't want that happening. It could make us even more stressed out. You'll get really, really foggy in the mind. You won't have a lot of clarity. Pretty much a lot of your energy is gonna be drained and your body is going to do a lot of work to get more glucose, to get more energy back into your body. So it'd be really easy for me to end this video by saying, control your stress levels. But I know it's a bit harder than that, right? It is a lot harder than that to make sure you get the proper amount of sleep, to make sure you're getting the proper amount of fuel. It takes a lot of education and a lot of uh, dedication and determination with your schedule to make sure that all of that happens. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a trick just for when you're feeling really stressed out, when you realize that mentally your mind is going somewhere in a really, really stressful place, or even if your body is getting really stressful. We're gonna go over two different ways. So when you're mentally getting really stressed out, something that you can do is become very, very conscious about something physical in your body. So something I really like to do when I'm getting stressed out and to really, really control my cortisol levels is to rub my fingers together and only focus on that specific task. It's called a, a positive quotient rep. So pretty much you're taking control of your thoughts, you're taking control of your body, you're taking control of your stress levels, which takes, takes control of your cortisol. So you can wiggle your toes and just think about, focus 100% of your attention on wiggling your toes, how it feels, is it warm, is it cold? Um, feel your fingertips going back and forth so you could feel your fingerprint. Get very, very honed in to different feelings of your body. Maybe you could swallow a few times. There's a few different things. Move your tongue around on your teeth and feel your teeth, feel what it feels like. Blink your eyes, focus on a specific sound. Pretty much any time you focus on one scent and you kind of like zone in like crazy on that one scent, like if you take a bite and you can either think about the taste or you can think about the texture of that bite. You could touch something and just really try to feel the texture of that thing. Any scent is awesome, that will work. Now, what do you do if you're really, really stressed out physically? Well, the biggest thing I could teach you is to breathe. You have to bring oxygen to your body. So think about when you're really stressed out. Think about when you're really, really anxious. What does your body look like? What does it do? It tenses up, right? You get really short of breath and you start to deplete your body of oxygen sources and that's, that's gonna signal your cortisol levels to go up to get more glycogen to give you more energy so it can handle you tensing up. It's silly, right? But the body is amazing on how it works. So you work on your breathing. Make sure you're breathing from your diaphragm. Don't just breathe from your chest. Don't expand your chest. Make sure you're breathing out through your tummy, okay? So that will definitely help. Uh, so breathing will help with your physiology and then also Focusing on a sense, any of your senses will definitely help with that mental stress. I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already so you don't miss another thing. And give it a thumbs up if you really liked it and helped it. And be sure to share it all over the place if you learned something.